Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media. It's a Saturday afternoon. Uh, we're over at Matthew Hatton's uh, gym, and we've managed to get Matthew and an up-and-coming superstar, Jack Hatton. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Nice one, mate. Nice one, mate. Good morning, mate. Yeah, in doing a little bit of work on Saturday. He's done a bit of S&C with... Uh, uh, Andy today, he's doing so well with his boxing and uh, he really wants it, so just trying to do everything we can to, to help him. So listen Jack, we've seen you on the pads with uh, your Uncle Richard, um, how are you enjoying doing that? Yeah, it's good because I get to do a bit with my dad and a bit with Rick, so then I get the mix of both styles, so if I can put them together it'll make me an even better fighter. I'll tell you what, one Fort Canelo, one's a two-time, two-weight world champion. You've not got a bad start, have you? No, yeah, it's just taking everything they tell me. So, like, I've not been boxing long, so it'll just make me even better, like, taking all the experience off them. Well, listen, we were at your fight uh, last weekend on Saturday and you had a really impressive performance and you stopped the fella, didn't you? Yeah, second round. Uh, my first round, I was doing okay, but the, towards the end of it, I started landing a few good body shots and finding my distance and my range. And then, yeah, caught him with another good body shot in the second. And then, Game over. yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, Matthew, he's talking like a hat, isn't he? He is, and he's fighting like one as well. I mean, we've all been good body punchers, obviously. Uh, Ricky, myself, Campbell's developing to a really good body puncher. And that's, you know, we was always taught to, to, to attack the body. Um, and I'm going to teach the boys the same way. And uh, like you say, he's, I've been telling him for some while now to use the body shots a little bit more. You don't see too much of it in amateur boxing. And he had a lot of success with the body shots uh, last week. So uh, hopefully we'll see more of it from in the future. Now it's, uh, you've had quite a few fights, haven't you? And you're out again in a couple of weeks, is that right? Yep, yeah, I've had 16 fights now in just over a year and I'm fighting again in two weeks. Whereabouts are you fighting, do you know? Uh, it's at the Village Hotel in Ashton. It's like my club team side of it. It's like a dinner show. It's like a dinner show, yeah. So back out again and, and probably one of the star attractions on the show, Matthew. Well, it's sold out already and... Um you know, he, he boxes for a great club, Tameside Elite, bustling club, really busy. But Jack's getting a nice little following already uh, behind him. And uh, like I said, he's been, the club got so grateful to the club. They've kept him so busy. He's had 16 fights in just over a year. Sounds ridiculous, really, but he's progressing so well. He's won 14 of those. Um, you know, one of them was a, was a bad decision. The other one was a, a good learning fight for him. Um, so he's doing so, so well. Really pleased with him. So is that what you want to do? You want to go into boxing, into the family business, as it were? Yeah, hopefully one day. We'll just have to keep listening to my dad and my uncle Rick to see when they think it's the right time. But I just more want to enjoy it at the moment with my boxing because just in box because I enjoy it. So just got to keep getting the fights, keep learning, keep progressing and just see how it goes. See so, what well, he's speaking like a professional on camera already, isn't he? He is. I think, I think Campbell's got the board there behind. He's holding the words up, but no, he's, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's loving it, Jack. Um, again, he'd never really had an interest in boxing. We never pushed him towards the boxing, but it was just something in him that he, he wanted to do it. And now he's started. He's certainly got the boxing bug. You know, if he's not here boxing with me, he's watching it on the TV. He's watching it at home, and he's, he's studying it. So, like he touched on there, at the moment, it's still very early days. That's what I say to him. Just enjoy your boxing. Don't think too far ahead. Enjoy your boxing. But he's doing great. You absolutely are. And another person who's doing great is Campbell. He's uh, got a fight in a couple of weeks' time. Um, another fight, and he's, he's very, very active this year and doing very well. He is very active this year, um, doing very well. It was always a case of when with Campbell, not, in, not if. You know, Campbell's a good fighter. Um, but yeah, lately, we, you know, we talked all the time about the improvements. They were small at first, but we're starting to see big improvements now. And uh, I'm seeing it again in the training camp for this fight. He's, he's, have, he's out, he's having a few days. He's back in the gym, he's back working, he's back learning and back improving. So again, really pleased with Campbell too. Yeah, and it was, a, it was a good stoppage, wasn't it, the last fight? It was a good stoppage uh, against a, a decent fighter. You know, let's not get carried away. Um, Lewis Fielding's a decent fighter. He's been fighting at area title level. Um, he's boxed 10 rounds. He, he lost at that level by a point. 
So that shows the level that Campbell's at already. He's already probably past that um, level. So keep Campbell busy, get a couple more eight-rounders, and who knows, maybe towards the back end of this year, early next year, we can look for a title of sorts for Campbell. Well, that's uh, great progress for Campbell. And Jack, is that, is that who you're going to go after next? You're going to try and be the next Campbell Hatton? To be fair, I started getting into boxing because of Campbell because it was around the lockdown when I started doing boxing and that was when Campbell turned pro. So it was like the whole family was getting interested in it because Campbell was turning pro and having his first few fights. So I thought I'd just give it a go myself in the lockdown with my dad and I just really enjoyed it and I just kept going. Hey, and don't forget, he took liberties last time he sparred you. Don't ever forget that, Jack. He took liberties, payback one day. I know, I'll be, sp I'll be sparring him soon. Sparring <laughs> him. Tell you what, the way you're going, you'll be knocking him out, won't you? I know, yeah. A lot, lot taller than him. I'm a lot taller than him, so... You're a lot taller than Campbell. He's giving it to you here, Campbell, proper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well listen it's really really nice to bump into you this morning young man and uh, I think the future is going to be very bright for you but like Matthew says plenty plenty of time learn the craft enjoy boxing because once you step into those pro ranks it becomes a very very different game um, but you've got great influences around you and uh, we really look forward to your next fight and all the other fights as well my friend nice one mate cheers <laughs> Matt, listen, great. Thanks for having us here this morning. And uh, we look forward to seeing Campbell out. Uh, in, I think it's the end of next week, isn't it? Uh, Campbell's boxing 27th of May, so that's four weeks today. Four weeks, superb. Thank you, lads. Good to see you.